Okay, in this video, I want to show you a way that you can use Flipgrid for having students show math equations. Uh, first thing you want to do is what you're looking at here is here's the teacher side on my left and here's the student side on my right. So I'm going to actually going to create a topic. So solve this equation. Helps if I spell it correctly. And I want students to please use the whiteboard feature. So they're going to use the whiteboard feature in Flipgrid. Recording time. Uh, can I make it a little bit longer? So I will give them two minutes to solve this equation. I think that's a good recording time. Uh, one of the cool things that I found is a little tiny equation editor, uh, quick equations. Allows me to write out like 10 to the power of three. I'm going to copy, save that image to the computer, save. Then I'm going to go to upload the image. Click, choose it, open. Allows me to crop it. So there's that little thing right there. So it's nice that it's given me a way to set this up. I'm going to create the topic. I can share it right from Google Classroom. Uh, for now, I'm just going to hit copy on the URL and say all set. Now, on the student side of things, I'm just going to be a student. I'm going to paste that in there. I probably got this through Google Classroom. Let's join here. So here's my equation. Solve this equation, 10 to the power of 3. So I'm going to record a response. Uh, before I record the response, I want to add the whiteboard feature or the green board, which is kind of cool. Oh, can I get more split screen? Ha. So I can make it a little bit bigger too. Okay. So I'm going to start recording. And I'm going to use the draw feature and I'm going to say 10 to the power of 3 equals 10 times 10 times 10. This is a lot more fun on a touch screen. And then I'm going to say these two equal 100. And then I'm going to multiply this other one on here, which is going to make me equal to 1,000. So my answer right here, 10 to the power of 3 equals 1,000. I get to hit stop. Once I hit stop, I can click next. Allows me to review it. I'm going to click next over. Here's my little selfie. Now it's uploading the video. Uploading the video. It's uploading the video. 85, 88. So it's going. Uh, display name, test student. And I submit it. Yay, it's done, complete. So I'll, the student just completed it. I'm going to back over to the teacher. Uh, let me expand this out, put me over back over the side. What's nice here is I'm going to go back to my class here. Here's the solve for equation. And I see that I have a response already. So I can click on it. I can see my response. I can go in. I can watch them do the work. And when I'm done, I can even add a comment. I can provide feedback here and I can record video feedback and I can use the same whiteboard feature so I can actually show them in a video feedback on how to make that work. looks like they have a grading rubric, which is kind of neat. So that's how you can kind of go through and submit, have students submit a use Flipgrid to submit math homework. Thank you and uh, never stop learning.